Kitchen with some special guests this Absolutely, week, right, man. Mark? Some lifelong friends. Introduce our lifelong friends. Well, we had Ken Hyderis uh -huh. from the Sunrise Inn, him and his family. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hyderis has been in Warren, Ohio since forever. Rover was we a got bomb. Nikki <laughs> Franco's here from the Buena Vista, famous Buena Vista. Uh, what's your motto? If the colonel had a recipe, he'd been a general. That's Absolutely. Right. That's so, right. some, some lifelong friends. And you used to work. the only two Greeks that passed on those. That's why I'm here. You don't want anybody else. He used to work there, right? I used to work with guy. He, with he Kenny transformed before. our restaurant. That's, That's all I'm going to say timing. because we're keeping it short, right? <laughs> I understand. I understand. We got so a timer on. We're going to do some Greek Easter. <laughs> we're going to do, you know, food. I grew up with my, you know, my, my uncle married into a Greek family. My aunt Sandy, who I treasure to this day, and Yaya, her mom. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot about Greek food and, and the passion for the flavor and everything just like Italian just like Mexican everybody's got that passion about food and you know I, I carry it on to this day you know grape leaves mm -hmm. the best midnight snack you'll ever have is cold, that right? cold right out of the refrigerator a little lemon a little we lemon. eat with yogurt sometimes uh -huh. you do yeah. with the yogurt yeah absolutely so we're going to give it a go and if we don't do it right these two guys are going to I think they're going to know I think they're, they're right? going yeah. to know yeah. all right <laughs> very good what are we making today we, I, you told us about the grape leaves <sighs> two of the classics pasticcio and we're making uh, domates okay. so pasticcio is Greek lasagna okay as we know it, and then uh, domates are grape leaves, you know, and you see grape leaves in a lot of different places, especially the Greek festivals. Some Greek restaurants offer them, some non-Greek restaurants offer them. So two of my favorites. I don't like you. cabbage rolls, but Greek style. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly. <laughs> a lot smaller. That's a lot Has smaller. anyone ever rolled a grape leaf before? Sure. Millions. No. Okay, not yes. me. Not you. <laughs> my, you mother too. Rolled, my mother does them all the We're time. We're going to do them today. I, think they I wish my mom was here. I wish they have a machine that you can actually buy. Really? Like a sushi roller, but it's a grape leaf roller. All right. I haven't seen it. All right, let's turn around, guys. You ready to cook? Yeah, let's get some sauce. You got a couple sauces. So we're going to start with the rice. Kenny's going to start with the rice. We have a nice... Uh, heavy cast skillet right here and you're gonna start with the onions and go ahead and throw those onions in and you're gonna start with the meat sauce the Greek meat sauce mm -hmm. for the pasticcio so if you want to throw them in there and as always we always want to hear that sound that sizzle listen to that sizzle and folks. that's what we want to hear <laughs> so that and then Kenny hit that Nikki hit that with a pinch of salt because the salt draws out all the moisture in the onions okay so you're working on that, and you know, a, a lot of the key flavors comes from a lot of different herbs. So you have mint, you have dill, you have flat leaf parsley, and scallion. So Kenny, why don't you go ahead and drop all those in? My mom has mint in the backyard. Well, it can take over your house. Oh, I know. It, it can grows. definitely take over your it house. Grows. So my, when I grew up on Parkwood Stewart Circle, we had mint. We brought it home from my grandma Rosano's house, and we had mint completely surround the house. And when so you have a bad on. stomach, you get the mint and you chew on it, and it fixes your stomach. Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead and add the rest of those. You want to go ahead and add, so we have a combination over here for the Greek meat sauce of ground lamb and ground beef. Ooh, so if you want to dump that, that in right that there, smells good. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be great. Oh, yeah, just garlic in a little first. Yeah, you can put some garlic in first. Garlic Absolutely. First, like, the garlic I like. To, I don't know how you like the garlic. I like the slivered garlic. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I'd like to put it all with the onions. I think it's yeah. going to be a little bit more. Yeah, get all those aromatic you saw smells. Good fellas, when he sliced it real. We're narrow. not doing it that fine okay, like Polly. Okay. I mean, Polly did a great <laughs> job on it, and it does work. It melts into the sauce. So I think you you're like ready. that word caramelize? Caramelization. <laughs> I think you're ready. Go ahead and add the rice. Okay. So you can either use short grain rice or long grain rice. It's just on your preference. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So now we're yeah. gonna toss that in the oil, coat it in the oil, get a little toast on it. When it starts to smell a little nutty, we're gonna make these vegan style. I know okay. you grew up with they added lamb. Yep. You grew up adding lamb, mm -hmm. but we know with dietary lifestyles now, yeah, I think I it's get important it. that we we, we sure. take care of those folks because yep. it's a big part of the dining community. That yep. is the that is Greek oregano. Mm -hmm. and, and that stuff is fantastic. Put, put as much or as little as you like. Okay? okay? You know, now, it's funny. My grandmother lived till 90. She ate meat. They ate everything, the old timers. You right, know? So right. Something's wrong. Just like my Greek, uh, my big uh, Greek wedding. My fag, yeah. Yeah. We got Windex over here, too, so we're ready. Just <laughs> so in case. So now we're going to deglaze. And again, I'm using vegetable stock for this. Okay. We're going to deglaze this. Not now, chicken, vegetable. Usually when you cook rice, it's two to one. So you have one part rice, two parts liquid. We're going to only add one part of the liquid and bring that to a boil and let that cook to al dente because Ooh, then yep. we're going to cover the grape leaves in more of that vegetable stuff. Yep. My God, you can smell that already. Oh, that Greek oregano that is so yeah, fragrant. Absolutely. It really is different. When you buy you commercial, got this up all the way past I have it up all the way. When you buy commercial oregano, it just doesn't have that aromatic yeah. smell or flavor. I mean, Whether you can it's smell Mex that, smell that. Oh, are you no. kidding me? It's fantastic. Yep. Whether you buy Mexican, Greek, or Sicilian, is you're not ready for the lemon yet, are you? Go ahead, add the lemon. Yep. You want to squeeze some lemon? Go. 
up. You, those mitts, you, be, you should be able to crush that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to be gentle, you know? That's a kinder, gentler Greek, you know? Okay. So now Nick is adding all that beautiful ground lamb like and ground crush. beef. Go to your butcher. I like to have it coarse ground, so ask him to grind it fresh versus fine ground because it gives you a little bit more texture when you're having that pastizio. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you like to make it or sure. your mom made it. So who made this? Yaya? Yeah, yeah. Yaya yeah, yeah made this. And so when the I was making this, what were the men doing? Outside drinking ouzo, eating cheese, <laughs> yep. tomatoes, olives, and doing the lamb on the spit. Yep. Instead of doing the lamb on the spit. Yeah, now, yeah, when you did absolutely. the lamb on the spit, was that a process leading up to the that day? Oh, absolutely. Like me and Kenny were talking about earlier with you guys, you know, back in the day, the lambs were their little pets for the spring, right? And all the little kids grew up with the lambs and all that stuff, and all of a so sudden... So it was like a little petting zoo oh, at first. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... One day, sudden, hey, 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 where are you going? They're going like, well, where the hell's the lambs at? I mean, where's the little baby lambs at? Oh, they, they, got, they got away. They, they ran they, away. They, they run away. You know so right? it was like my grandma Rosano's, yeah. same thing with rabbits. Yeah. yeah. So right. for rabbit cachatori. Right. Yeah. So, they're, <laughs> so in the back, they're, they're going out in circles. All right. And my so dad took the celery stalk and put the Italian dress. And then we cut little pieces off yeah, and cheese. Beautiful, it was good. It was beautiful. Good. Go ahead and add the tomato paste, yep. add the ground tomatoes. And you know, one thing, either you like it or you don't with this dish, is the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. I prefer it because I like the sweet, savory component to it, and that has that cinnamon has a little bit of savory. So instead of using ground cinnamon, we're gonna use a fresh cinnamon stick. And the cinnamon is actually the bark of a tree, unless you, if you don't know that. And it's the bark of the sea lawn tree. So really? we like yes, it is. So, I just thought you got at one of the grocery stores. I didn't know all that. You, you can. <laughs> you absolutely can. So Nikki's adding those tomatoes. We're going to season that with salt and pepper. Yours is getting ready to be yep, done. Yep. And we're going to come back after the break, yep. and we're going to assemble the grape leaves. We're going to teach you how to roll a grape leaf for the first time. You like love cigar, cigars. Like cigars. So you're going to love that. And my brother, you love making pasticcio. Yeah, so you're going to assemble the pasticcio. We're going to have a good time, and we're going to go from there. The great thing is, as long as I was in the restaurant business, you taught me more about Sharpen Burger. I almost killed him a couple times. I get the invoice. He put all this fancy sharpen? stuff. Oh, sharpen it's burger. a fancy chocolate. Oh, but anyway, he, he taught me a lot. Oh, all right. oh that's good. Yeah. Right. Take your time with that. How long do you got to do all this, Mark? Well, like I said, you want to bring this up to al dente, and you only want to use one part of the broth mm -hmm. that you're using. And if you're not a vegan, go ahead and use chicken stock, use lamb stock, use ground lamb okay. for it. Uh, you just want to cook that to al dente, and then it makes it easier to roll as well when we're rolling the grape leaves. And then when we add that broth on top of them, as you'll see in one of the next steps, it's going to soak in. All right, let's keep these guys working. Let's keep them working. We'll flip around and look at this camera. Hey, guys. And then that'll be it. And then uh, we'll, we'll take our little break, and then we'll come back later on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. the hour. Sound good? Sounds great. All right, more from Pesto's so Test good. Kitchen oh, yeah. in just a little bit. Back to us. Back on Pesto's Test Kitchen with our guys. This is Nick from Buena Vista. This is Ken from Sunrise Inn. They're our resident Greek people. Yeah, and we have our team back here from oh, Bistro. Bistro Bistro team here. Here. And we're rolling grape leaves. And it's a community thing. Yeah, but because first you have to teach them about the grape leaves. We do, right? we okay. do. Like, when you, like you said, and you said, your grandmothers used to always have the grape leaves, oh, God. and they would grow them and pick them, some. and then they would blanch them in boiling salted water. My mom has your own grapevine in the backyard. Yeah, yeah. I got to do that one day. I'll yeah. get to that. I'll get there. Sure, sure. Yeah. We just bought the house a couple years real ago. Good at that. But if you don't have that option, you can buy a great. Uh, go on to your favorite Greek retailer, or go on to one of the online shopping places. Get some. They're going to be in a brine. So with that brine, yeah, that's a great brand. The Orlando brand right is great. Mm -hmm. But you want to rinse them really, really well because Big it's got time. like citric acid on it, and it'll be a little bit too lemony. Mm -hmm. in flavor and it's got some other chemicals on it to preserve the integrity of the leaf but you want to destem them mm -hmm. okay so once we destem we have our rice we have our grape leaves rolled out and it's like rolling a cigar guys right mm -hmm. so you want to take anything it? else you're going to roll uh, yeah, for, exactly, right? yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so we're, we're going to take I'm the talking about leaves. different kind of cigars yeah, or exactly right, exactly right. exactly so we're going to take we're going to fold over the edges of the grape leaves <laughs> and <laughs> it's, it's going to be just like rolling a mini burrito in my case mini uh -huh. burrito from our back in our days where at uh, chi -Chi's. Back in our days. Is that how we did it back then? Uh, there's a, di a couple different ways of yeah. Chi Chi's. Chi Chi's, I used to do it like this uh -huh. pinch over, pull from the middle, and just tightly roll. Okay. And so you can roll them as big or as small as you want, depending. You know, it depends on how big your fingers are. Mr. Mm -hmm. Hyderis? Yeah, this is your first time doing it, right? <laughs> just so you know, you see this blue brace, it's a Greek mati. It wards off all the evil spirits. Nice. Oh, nice. Seriously. I like seeing so by while yeah. we're filling, Now, the big thing is, too, you want to take your, your heavy bottom pan that you're going to be baking this, and you want to 
line the bottom with grape leaves. So okay. we're gonna come over here to Nico. Nico's working on the pasty. The meat sauce mm -hmm. came out great, brother. Thank you, sir. It came out great. So what do you do now? Well, we just take, take our pastas, we put it right in here, then we incorporate the meat sauce into our pasta with a little Romano cheese and then March sauce. We mix this up good. Now like you put a little bit on the bottom first Absolutely. and then some on the top? Absolutely. Okay, great. So just like we do, with the, as far as your grape leaves go, we want to put some on the bottom so we don't scorch it up. Now one thing, now we did bechamel for an Italian lasagna a couple weeks ago. This is the same bechamel, but when it comes off the stove, we add whole eggs into it and we whisk those eggs in, we temper the eggs in because it's going to create more of a thick custard on top of that pasticcio. And you, Nick, you said this was at your restaurant every once in a while. Yes. Oh, do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to come over. We'll come on over. Come. Oh, yeah, that's great. When do you do that? Yeah, whenever we get up. So do you, do you make like moussaka as well? Moussa, you moussaka make... and Ooh. pasticcio mostly. Which moussaka is what? That, that would be eggplant. Now, you're talking about Italian lasagna and Greek lasagna. That's wow. more of a traditional thing where the Italians have the meat and all that stuff. This is a sliced, very sliced, very thinly sliced potato, eggplant. In your meat like this, oh. and you layer it's like it's a fantastic. potato it's and eggplant. Outstanding. It's outstanding. It's outstanding. It really is. It really is. Right. You, you know. brown your potatoes first. Mm -hmm. You put them on the grill and brown a little olive now, oil. Now, obviously, salt. now do you ever do souvlaki? Do you ever do cafetas? Ooh, well, here and there, souvlaki a little bit. You know, obviously we have the euros and stuff like that at the restaurant. Cool. So, cool. yeah. Well, my mother makes a cafetada. She puts they call it, in Greek they call yosma, but like the mint and boy, that which is wow. a lot. I roll this one okay. terribly. That's, that's fine. You put it in there. Good to roll. Go ahead and put that in there. You sure you're not Greek? I think he's part Greek, folks. Now, Trayvon, once you're done layering those in, we're going to put, again, we're making for a vegan friendly crowd. We're going to put the vegetable stock over the top. And then, Kenny, like you said, and a lot of Greek families do, put a little tomato, whether it's fresh diced tomato, yep. a little bit of tomato concasse, yep. or some crushed tomato, put yep. that on top as well. We're going to cover that. We're going to bake it in the oven for at 350 to 375 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes, along with this great pastis. Nikki, you're killing this pasticcio over here, man. I love all the layers and layers that we're building. My mother, right. just so you know, when she bakes it, she puts a plate on top. I don't know why. She puts the leaves on and top. There's a reason for everything. Yeah. There's a just reason an old for everything. Tradition. Mm -hmm. Now I can eat it just like this. Oh, absolutely. That's now it's ready to go, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, not quite ready well, because we got a couple more steps. Egg. I mean, it could be. It could be. We're going to put more meat sauce on top. That mm. beautiful Greek meat sauce with that cinnamon and Greek oregano. And then he's going to cover it in the bechamel. And that is going to create that custardy top. So you have all those different textures, layers of flavors. You have the richness from the meat sauce. And you get to the creaminess of the bechamel. It's going to be fantastic. And We're going to cover and wrap that as well. And always remember. Take your if, you, if you're using whole cinnamon sticks, make sure you take them out before you make your make your pie. Which yeah, we did. We did yes, right? When my yeah. sister got married, my mom and everybody rolled four thousand of these for wow. the appetizers. It wow. was incredible. Can you imagine what they wrote at the Greek festivals? Oh, oh I, I don't. They, and they're really great. The food at the Greek festivals. Really I guess they were all gone by the time. Oh the yeah. Was yeah. Who wants the other stuff? <laughs> Again, you know? see, these two things late night. If you've had a couple of cocktails or a couple glasses of wine, uh -huh. are your best late night snacks you'll ever have. Oh. Yeah. Like a cold piece of lasagna or a cold piece of <laughs> Pasticcio, mm -hmm. yeah. absolutely fantastic. Oh, Nick, you're doing good with that, cuz. Yeah, cuz, you know. All right, you keep going. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll cut some slices. We already have some made. Yeah. We'll eat it. We'll enjoy and, and test things out. You guys good with that? Yes. You good? Right. You good? Oh, yeah. I, I can't wait for the grape leaves. All right. They're vegetarian grape leaves. Commercial time. We'll be back. <laughs> Greek Easter. Wow. Things <laughs> are looking good, and we're not talking about us because we no, are no. slim and trim. This is just part You're of You're half Greek, right? Yeah, no, How about you, Trey Bologna? Yeah, Trey Bologna and Greek. Yeah. Yeah. So get them Tell up to speed brother. if people are just tuning in. Well, we just got the pasticcio out of the oven. We cut it We cut it a little bit too early. I recommend you let it sit for about 30 minutes oh, so it can sit up. It's fell apart a little bit, but we're, we're hungry. hungry. We're, we're hungry. hungry. So, Nikos, please. 
The grape leaves. The grape, grape leaves leaf reveal. reveal. The grape leaf reveal. Look, Look at, at these. Look at oh, oh, those are, oh, oh, those are much back. nicer rolls than what we <laughs> did, boy. Jeez. And then, Ours look like a Chinese fire drill. For talk about this a little bit. Talk about your uh, sesame bread over there. My mother bakes New Year's bread and Easter bread. She bakes a coin in the bread. So when you cut it, and I don't know where that coin's going to be, but say you cut a slice, and you toast it. It's, it's like a sweet bread. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where the coin is, but when you get it, it's good luck. You got a toaster here? In all this uh, big yeah. kitchen, you got a toaster? <laughs> we have a toaster. Some of them fancy ones. It's my knee. It's my knee. It's my knee. And on <laughs> Easter, well, then they also put the egg in there, too. Oh, we put the egg, and then we crack the eggs. Yeah, I forgot anyway, about that. I got some grape leaves. Oh, yeah. Buddy. There you go. Yeah, we now, crack these are them. also scorching hot, so yeah. they shouldn't be this hot when you eat them, but I don't care. So we have a contest. Remember, Nick, you get the egg, and everybody cracks them. Whoever has. The one that's not crack wins. My cousin Dino one year made a chalk egg, and of course he won because nothing would break. You know, yeah, he was nuts. Is that good luck for him or bad luck for cheating? Oh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> he was a character. Was a character. So, what do, what do we say in Greek when we're getting ready to eat? Yeah. Uh, prayer, just a quick prayer. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yasu Opa. Okay. Yasu Opa. Now, you, now, you, on, 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 Chris, on uh, Christmas, on Easter Day, you say, Chrysoso Nesti. Christ, that means Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, then you answer then you back. Salute. He's also nasty. Alistosta nasty. And then you salute, and everybody starts eating. Who did the cooking in your place? My my mother. When you were little. Uh, my grandmother. Yeah. My yaya. My yaya. Always? Mm -hmm. Like did the whole thing? Didn't Easter, let you yes. in the kitchen at all? Like, Easter, yes. Absolutely. How about for you guys? Oh, my dad cooked the lamb outside That's on right, the yeah. spit, and my mother made these kind of things. So. Yeah. How about you, Marcus? Uh, my Greek aunt and, yeah. and Yaya, my and aunt she Sandy. Did it. She did everything, everything. Well, her, I mean, just the whole family pitched in, you know, and uh, it was just an amazing experience, you know, between the lamb, the pasticcio, the galatamburico, oh. you know, spanikopita, tiropita, souvlakia, all those great dishes that I still hold deep in my heart, and I'm Italian. And this is why you see no skinny Greek people, folks. There ain't no skinny, I don't know skinny Greek, do you? No. no. Nope. Except Dave Ondi over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just kidding, man. Do you think eventually we'll lose some of this? Do you think eventually the, the yayas will go and we'll lose some of this? Well, uh, I yeah, not. unfortunately, yeah, but we're like in our family, we're trying to pass some of these on yeah. because if not, you know, we lose it. Yeah, we lose it. But it's really a shame, dangerous. you know? All right, so the what do you think, my kids? I'm oh, pretty good. Pretty good? I'm going to try the grape leaf next. Try the grape leaf. Yeah. I'm going to try the grape leaf. It's grape like leaves. a thousand degrees. Uh, yeah, but that's okay. Well, that's if we spit this out on camera, folks, don't get offended. Uh, uh, are you supposed to use your fork? Oh, no, but they're hot. <laughs> they are hot. What do you think? Grape leaves are delicious. Good. Oh, man. They need a touch of lemon. Oh. Even vegan. Oh, Ken, what do you think? That's great. It's great. I wouldn't normally, I like the lamb in there, you know. But that's really good. Salt, pepper. I like the lemon. The yeah. Greeks, like, we eat it with yogurt on it, believe yeah. it or not. Absolutely. Plain yogurt. And the Greek yogurt, phaia, means eat. F A G E means eat. So. Yeah, and that's why they have that brand. Yeah, oh, it's, it's really brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Brilliant. Let's get it in. That was a All good right. segment, you guys. That's that's a good good segment. Segment. Here's to my friends. Thank what you so much. What do we eat next week? What do we got <laughs> next week here? We'll be back. Salads. Salads are good. Oh, salads. Yeah. I like salads. Actually. Cheers, everybody. Have a happy Easter to you and your family. Absolutely. Yeah, soup. Yeah, soup.